Hello there! And welcome to Rocktopus Streams! Today we have a, a special one because we're doing a Lego building stream! Retro, my friend, you're always here! So, I got myself an Anakin ship. I've been saving this for a really long time. So today will be that special occasion. So okay, Retro, welcome! Ah, oh, I'm so glad to have you here. I suppose you're really now just chilling, relaxing. So, I encourage you, as always, to grab a little snack, a little drink. I got some tea and cola somewhere else. But yeah, welcome, welcome to the stream. So, I guess, uh, just like Akira on Christmas Eve, I'm gonna open this little thing. Once, hope, once I find the place to open it from. Oh, it's here, I found it. Oh boy, here we go, first detail. All oh, the cockpit, the amazing cockpit. Hey Retro, can you tell me how's the sound? Uh, is the music too loud or too silent? Let me know if I can adjust this. Ah, oh, look at this, we got the instructions. Let's flip this through real quick. We're all set! Yes sir! Good to hear that. So, we're gonna go through all of this, huh? Some cool pages to get the full result of this. Well, this is the most exciting part. We all got the music to hype us up. Look at all the packages. So neatly packed. I haven't built Lego in... I don't know, since Christmas, I guess. So it's Christmas again for me. All right, let's place this uh, somewhere. I don't know where. <laughs> I wish I could just have it there. So sitting. Maybe I can actually. There we go. Let's put it up there. Okay, so it's not a very big uh, Lego set, so we're gonna be finishing it pretty soon. But hey, let's get started. Oh, just ASMR. All these little details. Oh, feels good, man. Feels good. Just listen to this. <laughs> Well, we can immediately start with some little figurines, so we got a torso of uh, this guy, this guy right here, you can barely see it, but he's there, maybe we can focus some point, oh, there we go, nope, ah, oh, there we go, let's give him some pants, put him with some good pants and maybe a head would be nice, you know, we wouldn't want Anakin to lose his head. There he is, and some hair. I did not know Anakin is like Voldemort because <laughs> he has two heads. He has like a face up front, if I can focus this, there we go. And he also has a face on the back where he's angry, he's like Arr! Oh wow, we're gonna get the whole, whole gang here, let's go, that's awesome Retro. I can't wait to see you guys. <laughs> it's been way too long. Oh man, someone's just trying to do this to make us famous, but we're famous already, so what the hell do we want? Whoa, big lad, hello, my friends, welcome. Welcome to a Lego stream. We're building this little guy. Wow, the force is so strong that my, my light just flickered. Anakin, what the hell are you doing, man? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? All right, you guys, so we're building Anakin's ship. First page, <laughs> it feels so weird, but hey, I get to be a kid, so. You don't get to be a kid often, do you? So I can enjoy myself. I hope you can enjoy yourself as well, so... Anything that could make you feel more comfortable and more relaxed, please get yourself cozy. Is it gonna be a blanket or a nice drink? I mean, as you can see, I'm drinking black goo stuff. Not gonna tell what it is. It's tea. So yeah, give yourself time to do that. And I'm going to be building some stuff for you. So folks, I, I assume you're all done with school, you're very happy, free men and women, just ready to take over the world. Hit me up with your details, guys. How have you been? Alright, we're building some sort of base for our ship, I suppose. I need some more, need some more package opening. Hmm. 
One detail has escaped. You're free from your shackles, nice! So what happens now, you guys? What are your plans for the summer? Alright, so... I see I have to do more things here. There must be a smaller piece. No, there's not. Interesting. Then all I can do is build this. Okay, I guess that's, that's that. <laughs> Get a job! Oh my gosh, so... Not much of a resting, I suppose. Okay, so, so far we have this. There's gonna be a lot of updates showing, like, what is happening with the building stuff. Come to think of it, can we do a little zoom zoom? Oh yes, we can. It's gonna be a bit easier for me to, to build. Because now you can actually see what's going on. Cool stuff, huh? So, Retro, what are, what are your plans for the summer? I don't know, summers always has some good vibes. Uh, one thing I really always enjoyed about summer is uh, the music that would come out. I don't know, like summer hits are something really, really amazing. Some good music always comes out, just like, you know, puts you in a good mood. Cool, like, chilling mood. So in my case, me and my girlfriend would have a lot of car rides just singing uh, our hearts away. <laughs> you just want a Zelda summer! Oh my god, that's a dream summer. I can't imagine that. But Retro, are you gonna play... What kind of Zelda games are you planning to play? Damn, damn. It's kind of weird, it's making like... Weird sound. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be that something that's uh, gonna shoot the projectiles from here. But yeah, it's gonna, those little holes are gonna shoot the projectiles. Pretty cool. I never really enjoyed having Lego that like has those mechanics to shoot and stuff, but I don't know. I guess it's pretty cool. Damn, Twilight Princess and Wind Waker. Actually, I'm gonna be very honest with you, Retro. I've never played those uh, myself. I'm not really considered to be a super pa fan of Zelda, just because, you know, I played mostly Breath of the Wild. So, I still have a lot of catching up to do, but it's really fun. My girlfriend has been playing Link's Awakening. I didn't watch her fully to play it, but every single time I would come to her room and just see her, like, doing the uh, underground, uh, I don't know, basement explorations, it was pretty cool to see. But yeah, I guess it's still in my plans to to play it as well. So, what should I do here? Okay, I need to place this on top, then that, and this. Oh yeah, I did notice uh, there on my Discord uh, server. Really cool sketches! I wanted to ask whether you were using the ink to, to draw or like, paint those, or was it something else? Let's make this uh, fella sit somewhere here. There we go. Ooh, Animal Crossing! Do you, both of you guys, uh, Big Lad and you, Retro, have uh, Animal Crossing? It would be really fun to visit your islands. Come to think of it, I'm not sure if we added each other uh, with a friend code. Oh, so it was ink. Nice, so I guessed it right. Okay, this thing is coming up pretty nicely. Just like, um... Solid, solid stuff. I wish I would, like, knew more details about these ships so that I could, like, say, Oh, we're actually building the hyperspace drive, it's really cool. <laughs> or something like that. Ooh, definitely send some photos, I'd love to see that. We haven't done much building me and MCQs in our island. I think she was mostly doing all the um, planning and building. <laughs> I only joined in just to like upgrade my house mostly. Ooh, we're gonna be building some cool stuff right now, so... Let's start with uh, finding the blue majiggies. Here are some blue majiggies. Oh my god, it's so close. Okay, we're gonna be building engines, I assume. These look like engines. 
I need two of these. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, you know, just arms went up. Yeah, no problem, Retro. I can also focus on building my Legos and enjoy some cantina like music. Okay, so this is going to be a part of the engine. Let's place this in. Oh, that's weird. It almost feels like I'm building a Bionicle. <laughs> if you remember, back in the old days there used to be these Lego Bionicles, like, like robots of Polynesian culture. Damn. Those were the days. I loved them so much as a kid that I even learned like their... Um, not like language, but their... How's the word? Alphabet or something. Symbols of language. It was pretty cool because there used to be these games where you play and then I wouldn't need to translate anything. I would see and understand perfectly. All right, we got them in. We got them engines. We got the amazing music running. Woo! <laughs> now I'm scared to move because my computer might disconnect again. Never mind. Okay, there it is, our engines, they're ready to fly. We can now proceed. Ah, uh, yeah. Not really seeing all the details, but it's coming, it's coming. So, our next step is to add some side details on this one. You know, it would be cool to like uh, do a little stop motion of all Lego pieces just assembling themselves. I remember doing those as a kid when I had like some, I don't know, other uh, other kind of Lego sets. It's pretty uh, awesome, both awesome kind of experience to do, but at the same time even more fun like uh, result of seeing, you know, your Lego pieces coming to life and constructing themselves. It's almost like seeing in the game, uh, you know, all the Lego games where characters are just building uh, structures. Pretty awesome stuff. I feel like I'm building the cockpit now. Nice. Let me see, let me see. Yeah, we need this. Okay, what? Do these different things somehow? Oh yeah, they do. Damn. Like little details. Really like how the uh, engines look like. So this is what we got so far. Oh damn, we're getting the kind of Anakin theme running. Let's see what next phase unfolds for us in our Star Wars building adventure. More details! What did I expect different, any different? It's really fun to watch those like uh, Lego geeks that build giant cruisers and stuff. And they just think all those things out of their freaking mind. It's mind-blowing to see. But yeah, these little things where people kind of make their life based on their hobby, I think it's just... It's really out of world to me. Like, imagine your profession being like a professional Lego builder, creating sets and designing things like that. It's so freaking awesome. But I guess that's also quite the beauty of today, that there's so many different professions that are kind of creating itself all the time. Something that, like, you wouldn't have imagined ever existing. I mean, in general, when YouTube came, out, uh, came along, everyone's like, what? Who the hell are you? They called YouTubers what? They called them video commentators? They called them content creators? Then YouTubers? Just like, pretty weird. Okay, so we're gonna do some sticker time now. We're gonna be making... I don't know. This probably looks like a computer. I don't think I can really show it to you guys, but there it is. Place it in the center. There we go. There we go. Heck yeah. What's next? I want to build some more. Now I'm confused about this little part, but 
I think I'll manage to figure it out sooner or later. Okay, it looks like another support for the uh, computer there. I assume it's gonna be a front blaster or something. It's weird, but there it is. Ooh, what's this? Okay, we're attaching something on the side. I'm not sure what's it gonna be, but... I think something will attach onto this little part here. I also have a huge Lego box, just, just bricks, not really any constructions. I think it would be fun to also do a little stream where, you know, you guys either suggest me what to build and I do it, or I just think of the top of my head and do crazy, uh, crazy imaginations that will come to me at the time. I mentioned before, I used to have Legos as a kid, but as a kid I really wanted to grow up as fast as I can, so I was like, I don't need Legos, I'm gonna give them away or sell them because I'm a big boy or something. <laughs> and now I have... I didn't have Legos for many years, I was like, god damn. Until, again, my girlfriend convinced me that I need Legos. And now I have plenty of Legos. And she's crazy, because she's like, constantly want to get me more Legos. And I would just know, don't know what I would do with my life if I had more Legos. Totally say maybe no. <laughs> Not sure if that would uh, bring me that much of uh, happiness and maybe some other things. But Lego is still awesome. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, back to building. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Doing. Ooh, this is a pretty satisfying part. Let me just attach this part on top. So here we are, I'm attaching something on the top. I'm not really sure what it is. I'm gonna slide this thing in. Ah, oh, secure and locked. Look at this mechanic stuff. So freaking awesome. Okay, now, did I even put it on the right side? Yeah, I did. Nice. Oh, this is actually gonna be the lid. Okay, okay. So we're gonna pretty soon put this on top. Like, pretty soon now. Attach the thing. And there we have it, the amazing cockpit. Heck yeah, let's do it from the side. It needs a front front part, almost looks like uh, the window from the Death Star. I don't even remember which episode the ship is really is. I remember Anakin being as a kid, just like, on Phantom Menace movie, hopping onto some random Naboo ship, shooting some uh, robos. Okay, so here it is. Now we're gonna flip and attach some bottom parts. One and uh, two. There we go. I think this is where things get serious. So before that, let's maybe let's maybe introduce our main character. So here we have the Anakin Skywalker with his angry face. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Maybe it's just his regular face, but his angriest face is on the other side. Let's do an angry face. Go on an angry face. Now he needs a lightsaber. I have so many lightsabers. Again, before like getting some stuff like lightsabers, you would have to buy really expensive sets. Now it's just like lightsabers pretty much in every Lego set. It's pretty cool. I really enjoy having loads and loads of lightsabers. So here we have the Anakin Skywalker. Let's uh, make him chill for now. And his companion, R2-D2. I'm building without constructions, figuring out how this guy should look like but i guess it's easy to figure these out ah here he is our r2d2 also ready to blast this guy so all the two characters are ready i even got like an extra lightsaber hilt in case i lose the other i really appreciate that lego puts extra pieces i mean i probably would not lose them 
but in case I did, I can I can easily replace. Has any of you guys been to Denmark and Legoland? I know my sis sisters went there and brought a big castle that we both built. Sadly, again, I don't really own it anymore. I wish I saved all of my Legos, then I would have so much Legos. But yeah, again, some, uh, some blast from the past, guys. When I was little, I was... I had this like little dream of turning my whole room into Legos. I wanted to build like roads and buildings and I would just walk around my Lego buildings as a, I don't know, as a freaking Godzilla or something. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing now? We finish these pages. Did these pages, okay, here we are. More building stuff. It's pretty warm already, and I still haven't went to the to the lake and had the swim. I think I really need to do that because I don't know how many years I've already uh, skipped that stuff. It's kind of bizarre because I'm also living very close to the forest and uh, the lake. But the problem maybe is I kind of got used out of just going for longer walks. And I think re what really helped me to do those things was having a dog, actually. Because then, you know, you're f a little bit forced to... The force. Yeah, you're a little bit forced to go outside. So when you're already out there, you feel like, Oh, might as well just, you know, walk to a freaking forest and see what's in there. What's changed and stuff. And now without uh, my dog, I, I'm like, huh. You know, maybe I can think of something different things I could do, like edit a video or play some games and just like not go outside. And I think that uh, the quarantine also added up to that a little bit, just because uh, I really strictly followed the rules not go out when it was forbidden. So yeah, did I make this right? I'm talking but I'm not really thinking what I'm doing. With... Imagine me just like starting to build Lego and building entirely a different thing. <laughs> it's like, follow the instructions, constructing, constructing. Hmm, that's not Anakin's ship, that's maybe Obi-Wan's ship or something. That'd be pretty funny. I'm quite curious to ask you people, um... What do you think about LEGO in general? Their kind of, let's call it, origins of, uh, of the creativity and building things yourself versus uh, all these... Uh, I don't know, let's call it media, recent movies, constructors that designers make for children to... Children and us, of course, to construct. Do you think, like... Uh, LEGO should be more of, like, building your own things or... A collectibles thing where you buy various builds and just construct them and keep them in your trophy room or something. I guess I personally like both just because you know it's also a little bit of sharing that creativity buying the set constructing it yourself then maybe getting inspired to, to try something to build yourself. I mean, again, when you're a kid, that thing happens naturally. You just... You buy a set, you construct it, and then you're like playing around with it and thinking, hmm, maybe I want like uh, to build my own building and stuff. And that's exactly what happened to me. And uh, I used Legos to, to play D&D with my friends, but not like the D&D that you may know, but we imagined our own game we made a role-playing game ourselves it was mostly based around runescape actually we would draw in our mathematics like textbooks cut out the pieces and you know call them items then create a whole inventory space add some clay on top so that you know the items would stick to that inventory so basically we just drew things 
Uh, and yeah, we built our little world out of Lego. So we built houses, like shops, um, we built uh, areas of mining, so you would just level up and stuff. It was pretty awesome, uh, spending time like that with your friends and trolling them. I actually even have a video where <laughs> I have a video on YouTube of me as I don't even know how many old, how many, how much years had they have at that time but we were burning one of the other friends uh, I don't know inventory slots or something I don't know we just wanted to mess around with him so it was really crazy and irresponsible of me burning stuff inside the house but it's a funny video to look back to I will link it later to you guys if you'll be interested to see but yeah a lot of stupid things have been done a lot and somehow I'm pretty proud of it. <laughs> okay, what are we doing now? This... Ah, that's what we were supposed to do. Okay, okay. It's as much of a mystery building this as it is for you. I don't know really why, but... Today it feels quite weird to stream. I don't know, maybe because it's Friday and I usually don't do streams on Friday. But I think it's more of me just getting sometimes used out of streaming i'm like uh, what am i doing why am i talking to myself what it's weird so i get shy still a lot okay let's place this this thing somewhere like here in display maybe uh put the r2d2 on top of it to have some fun even anakin can join in just like lie down chill as we're constructing some sort of weird thing, I'm not sure. Probably it's gonna be a wing. I'm, I'm assuming it's gonna be the wing. So let, let's keep going and find out what it actually is. Some details over there. Some details over here. And you got yourself a freaking chip. I like looking at these... Um, let's call them blueprints or constructions. Because I enjoy like training my mind and I'm really also bad at these things but basically you know like 3d thinking like rotating things in your mind so I'm looking at the constructions from one side but I'm actually building them from the other side and I'm hoping that it will turn out all right and I already didn't see it's not so I gotta use my teeth it's not right wait is this right now yeah, okay, I fixed it. But yeah, it's fun uh, trying to imagine things in your own head and train your mind. For me especially, because I'm one of those people who can't imagine things that well, and I don't even dream. Uh, I always just go to sleep and wake up, so it's, it's not as fun. <laughs> Sleeping is not as fun when you don't remember your dreams, and or if you do, then they're so, like, very... I don't know, so simple, so realistic, quite boring. But yeah, it's a little practice I've been doing a lot for a long time because I remember even having this problem of not remembering people's faces and like imagine an awkward situation when I'm meeting someone and the next day I'm like, hey, hi, I'm Rock. And then like, and they're like, yeah, we met yesterday. <laughs> I'm like, oops. I think this little grappling thingy right here could be for the lightsaber hilt i don't know if you can see these hooks here but there they are yeah cool are we done i think so so now we're gonna attach this huge thing we've been building on top of this i hope this is the wing but I'm not really sure anymore. It looks so wide, it's kind of weird. But hey, we attached it. Probably gonna do the same thing on the other side now. So now we're gonna build some sort of mechanism that will allow the wing to flap. Make him flappy bird, basically. So these things on top are ready. Okay. So weird. Wait, this doesn't look right. What did they do wrong? Yep, okay. We had to make them come closer, but that's alright. Not that hard to figure out. 
Okay, I think this is one big wing. That's the... F yeah, this is one big wing. You can see this is going to be the back part. This is going to be the mechanism holding it. And this is the front area. Let's put it uh, the, the front for you guys. Here's the front area. All right, cool. Now, we need a couple of more things. And I'm having a great time. Today I woke up with... As usual if i oversleep or then don't eat breakfast i woke up with a freaking headache so i'm like ah, what am i gonna do today can't function like a normal human being so you build legos that's what you do anyone comes up with um, a better idea let me know okay this one and this one and this one now we're speed running. There we go. I like the the detailing part. Adding extra little stuff to make things look more interesting. Again, imagine making a stop motion animations like zooming into those little details. That's just so freaking cool. Okay, I'm looking for a specific detail and I'm not really sure. Oh! This is what they want me to do. Add this one here. Oh, more stickers! I love some stickers. Here, we're taking number two. Okay, where's number two? Wait, that's not number two. What do you call it? Number four. Alright, let's stick this one up here. Alright, nice. This turned out to be good. Ooh. Heck yeah! Okay, now this part. Yes. So this one package is just one wing, so we're gonna have to repeat the same thing for another one. And this one's not even finished yet. So now we're gonna put this aside. Again, place the R2-D2 to guard it for us. There we go. I need another... Oh! We're gonna put the Jedi sign. Damn. This one's so small. It's so hard to put it on top. Oh my god. Actually, I missed it, but... I guess this will do. I can't even probably focus to it because it's just so tiny. Never mind then. I have to place it. Um, yeah. Okay. No, it's really hard to take it off, so I messed it up, but that's okay. There it is. This little tiny thing is the Jedi symbol. Hello, Lollipo! Wow! Just got back from school camp. Well, welcome back! I, I bet you had a great time out there. Anyway, Lollipo, you've tuned in to a Lego building stream. We are currently building the, um, the Anakin ship from Star Wars. Now, I don't know really from which episode it is, I would have to look it up, but it's a thing I've been holding for some special day, but I don't know. I guess that special day is today. Right, attaching the wing. What do I do with these ones? Ah, wait, what? Yeah, R2-D2, you probably have to go, my friend. That's that. This piece comes here. Attaching another yellow thingy majiggy. There we go. I think the winding is actually over. So this is one side. Now we'll have more sides. Damn, big island with lots of beaches. And all of your friends probably. So that's super awesome. Uh, how did they actually make the school camps? Do all grades come together or like they're separated grades? Like you only your class or just all the other classes as well. Yeah, if you have pictures, I'd love to see them. Please uh, share them. You can share them with me or with the whole Discord community. It's up to you. Okay, a lot of building underneath the wing as well. I'll, I'll blow this closer to you. What are we doing now? So I need a double thingy. This goes up. 
and placing inside here. This tiny little detail, I'm not even gonna show it to you because it's just mega tiny, goes in here. Oh my god, well, if you spend the whole day uh, outside, I understand why, you know, a lot of people would get sunburned. It's pretty hard to, like, maintain your skin. Two tenth grades, I see. After Rivers of Holland. Oh, cool. Her class name is Slinge, and... I just so joined us in our camp. Okay, I see. That's pretty cool. So here's the wing. One side. And flipping the other. Still, I'm not done quite with it. There's some more details I'm asked to put. It looks like we're building a small cannon. It's really fun that uh, school organizes camps like that. I would, would have loved them if we had some at our school. Looks quite weird, but I'll, I'll go with it. No, we did not have school camps at all. We had some excursions that we would like go for one day somewhere. So we would go like around Lithuania, <laughs> visiting churches and stuff, which is very boring if you ask me. And the only fun one I remember was when our, our German teacher... I didn't really study German, but the, my other part, like classmates uh, studied German. She organized a trip to Berlin. So we went to Germany to visit the Berlin Zoo. So that one was actually really, really cool. Uh, you know, that's fine, I guess. But in general, I didn't really travel a lot in my life. But, yeah, maybe that will change. It's really hard to get yourself, sort of, believe in the idea of traveling. I don't know how to explain that really well. Wow. More and more stuff. So, here we have a cannon. Damn. Damn some. Really cool. For a whole week. That's a different story. That, we only go like for a couple of days. Like, I don't remember. Yeah, I think we went for one day just to Germany to see the zoo. I don't know. In general, school sucked. <laughs> that's all. That's all. <laughs> don't really have good memories from school. So I'm just very happy it's over. The only good thing that happened during school, at least for me, is the fact that I had more time in my life doing whatever I wanted even though still like I was so much pressure to study that I overstudied never learned to learn pretty well because I was just trying to memorize things when I should have tried understanding things and even worse I spent time rewriting textbooks to get things in my own head because I thought I'm just so stupid I need to do that it was a bad toxic loophole Whoa, damn. Okay. So what are the rest of your plans for this summer, uh, Lollapo? <laughs> it's almost like I, I feel like I'm done with this, but I'm not. It's more and more stuff needs to be put on top of this design. Now I'll place like these two yellow parts here. I mean, to be honest, the school I went to was definitely toxic, because, you know, they would definitely bully you if you were not a good student or just teachers did not like you and it's kind of hard to understand that that even teachers would do that so i don't know the whole freaking mentality there was so awful but um, i think that has to something to do with uh, the soviet union system because you know we got our independence in 1991 i was born in 1994 so like three years after our liberation and the school systems and all the other systems didn't really change. It's just like all stuff from the Soviet system. It was just really bad, you know. 
Nobody freaking cared about anything, let's say. You know, people could have noticed that I'm like struggling with certain things, but nobody gave a damn, and it's considered to be normal not giving a damn, I suppose. It's your problem, something wrong with you all the time. Oh, and definitely they didn't like if you question their their authority or their knowledge. You know, if you're a curious person and you would want to like learn more, or ask questions why we're doing things a certain way, you'll get punished for it. <laughs> so yeah, I guess that's the main reason why I really dislike school. I'm glad I'm out of it. And that is that. Yeah, I love these parts. They're gonna be, look so freaking epic. Ooh! Lollipop says, I have a very random plan for this summer. I want to put an electric engine on the bike and try to make it work. You know, that uh, ones that are also a little house. Damn! We have one of these and I want to make it work again. The engine is broken and me and my dad are going to repair it. Oh, that sounds like a, such a fun father-son activity to do. Yeah, definitely do that. And you can even document like uh, the process. I think that would be also pretty fun to do. Okay, we're gonna be attaching pretty cool stuff right now. Oh, sorry, I'm not really showing that. There we have it. Damn. I think I need to replace this like that. Look at this thing. Holy cow. It's hard to show, but like, it has these sides and everything. Oh, that's a bit sad, but you know, you, you had a great time, so that's most the most important part. But was it like forbidden to take it? Um, you know, take uh, stuff to the camp, like phones. Oh boy, this is the moment we're being going to attach to one wing to the to the pit. Ah, oh, the thing clicked. There we go. It, it kind of looks really cool already. You know, just by itself. Damn, look at this. So freaking epic. This is gonna be a really cool an additional connection to my already established nerd closet. Alright, let's put Anakin inside this. Where's Anakin? Come on, dude. Leave your lightsaber. Okay, so in you go. There he is. Closing the lid. Awesome. Here is inside. So what kind of activities do you do in school camp? Is it completely free or do you guys have to do like a talent show? Some sort of schedule to follow? The last package! Let's go! Well, we already built one wing. So we just need to produce the same thing and we'll be good. Move this aside a bit. Our Yeti, blue Yeti. Yeah, we're making another wing. Hopefully this will be a bit faster. There we go, we have a little platform ready. Flip it. Attach additional details over here and the big long thingy over here. Now I need a tiny little detail and I'm not sure where to put it. Oh, on top of here. There we go. Page complete. Moving forward. At least it's super easy to find details. I remember again, since I had so many Lego sets, I don't know how much you can imagine. It's not that that much. But imagine at least four Lego sets 
No, it's more. God damn it. I did have quite a lot when I think about it. Okay, imagine... I don't know. What number would be crazy? Five? Six Lego sets? Big, bigger ones. Just like all the details filled into one part. Big, huge pile. And you're trying to build something and you need to search for a very specific detail in a huge pile of Legos. It was so crazy. Once I mixed everything and we played like that D&D &D I talked about before, I would want to like reconstruct all the buildings again and I would just spend a couple of days probably on and off just, you know, oh, maybe I'm gonna try to find that detail now, just search for it. Nope, can't. Leave it be, then come back later, search for it again. Oh, find it. Add an additional piece to, to my puzzle. But it was super fun. We had to measure length of pieces of land with... Uh, some weird instruments. Then we needed to calculate some other things. It was super awesome. We also had a disco. We needed to cook for ourselves, did mini golf, and we swim a lot in the sea. Even in the sea! Holy cow, that's so awesome! That's been an alternative learning experience you got there, Lollipo. Just like, you know, learning things the natural way. That's super cool. Typically, you know, thinking about having a math, uh, math camp it doesn't sound so you know so interesting but if it's like uh, you know so I don't even know how to say things like learning in a natural way giving like real problems like measuring distances that sounds like a lot of fun you know weird to say but I even would go to that kind of camp myself now yeah, it sounds like unique learning experience. Is it like uh, only related to your school or all kind of Dutch schools are in that particular style? Because again, uh, when I was in the Netherlands, I was learning in the NHL. So as I was saying, I was learning in a system called CMD. Uh, we didn't really get marks there, we only needed to collect credits. And it was super, super awesome experience. For now you want to try marine biology. <laughs> Damn, you would be the same as you, because you is also learning marine biology. You can ask him, like, how does it feel to be learning there. Maybe he can give you also some good insight on how it feels to actually study marine biology. But I'm very happy to hear that you have, like, uh, already established some interests. The, the thing is, now you're in a really good year of discovering yourself. Trying different things as much as you can. And see, I don't know, how just things work. I was pretty much afraid of trying things, and I think that really, you know, took away a lot of opportunities for me. I still feel like I tried a lot of things and I'm very happy I did them. I'm happy at some cases I was also inspired or not like forced in a way to like do and try. But yeah, it was awesome. To just try as many things as you can and see whatever interests you. Bots, they're coming! Yeah, Hugh is actually studying marine biology, that's really cool. I think I like... Uh, you know, I, I don't know, I just love uh, science in general. Like, I still love watching videos like... Uh, Kurtz's art, uh, explaining physics, and... Um, yeah, I got lost myself in the thought. Yeah, explaining how various things work and all that. Yeah, okay, I, I remember what I was talking about. So yeah, Chris Kazark makes a lot of interesting videos about biology, physics, space. And I think space is the, the topic that intrigues me the most. I've always uh, kept my head up high <laughs> looking at the stars and stuff. It's pretty much of a, of a hobby. 
for me. You should watch Steve Hawking's documentaries, those are so cool. There's three, I don't know what exactly names of them, but uh, them series about theory about aliens is really cool. Love that, I will look it up soon. Hey, thanks though, that's some good suggestions. Uh, I watched some stuff as well, like uh, Machio, Kikachu, I don't remember the exact name of the... Um, it's a Japanese uh, physic physicist who created the string theory, which kind of unifies a lot of ideas uh, of, I don't know, quantum mechanics and stuff. It's pretty interesting, him talking about, uh, you know, universe being as a vibrating string that is nothing, not a proton, not, not an electron, it's just vibrating and, you know, depending on certain situation scenarios it will turn to one or a different kind of thing <laughs> really inspired you not to drop physics that's good that's good i love to hear that um i've been learning a lot of uh, songs on guitar because i was requested to play some songs on my girlfriend's sister's husband's birthday <laughs> yeah it's always confusing when you have to like introduce every person but yeah uh, he's gonna have a birthday party and I'm going to play some songs with the guitar. So I was learning every day, practice some songs. Um, and yeah, at work we had the release week. It never ends, just Jesus. Every day we were supposed to launch the game, but then we had more and more tasks to do and the game was postponed and postponed. It was really exhausting, to be honest. So I'm very glad it's over. Yeah, playing the guitar feels really good again. I did not, you know, again, I probably have to thank EMCQs for that because what she did, she took out my guitar out of the out of the case and placed it in the eyesight so that I could see it. And that already helped me to pick up the guitar because when it was in the case somewhere in the closet, I would never pick it up. But then I picked it up, started playing, I don't know, it felt good. And yeah, I even got to suggested my other friend who plays uh, the bass guitar to and his girlfriend plays the keyboard so we're gonna do a little band i guess just for fun you know meet up and play so yeah we're gonna play some covers first maybe then we will create our own songs who knows i'm mo mostly interested now in, in just playing things I don't want to get involved too much in in a band or something like that, but yeah, just playing for fun sounds sounds great to me. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, I'm back up to speed because I can now place all these parts. Yeah, maybe I can record some things uh, when we're gonna play and show it to you. Maybe that will also inspire you to play more. But I assume you are playing all the time. You're that kind of person who's determined to keep on going. And you love piano, so... But I'm still very curious to hear, um, how is it for you with your learning experience? Have you been, been uh, playing a lot of piano and trying different uh, compositions? I'm quite curious, like, you usually learn uh, classical compositions, or like, I don't know. Yeah, I'd say you usually learn classical compositions. It would be pretty cool to hear you play um, pop music or something, uh, pop rock, something of uh, today's music, let's say. This one here, I'm lacking one more detail again, hopefully I did not lose it, but looks like I might have, well maybe it will turn, maybe it'll come back later.
Nope, it's not here. Anyway, bring the ship closer. Okay, so Lullaby says, to be fair, I didn't play much of piano lately. School has been very busy, uh, it's most summer vacation, and then I will go ham the piano. <laughs> oh, damn, that's awesome. Yeah. What kind of uh, group would you love to try to play? Uh, what kind of music? Would you like to try to learn from pop music? Okay, let's see if I missed anything. Doesn't look like I missed anything, so let's proceed. Okay, building this thing then. that little piece that I can't find. Did it drop somewhere? Doesn't look like it. I had one issue before like uh, where I didn't lose that part but it was just not in the set. Sometimes that happens. I also, they could be still stuck in one of these boxes. That also doesn't seem like that's the case. Well, I'll find it eventually if it's here. If not, then it'll be fine as well. Whoa, you love reggae music? I never knew. Damn. That's pretty interesting style, especially to play on the guitar. Like, um... The reggae strumming rhythm is very, very unique and I can really feel that because you have to be really relaxed to be able to play that kind of like rhythm pattern. So I remember when I was learning some of the strumming patterns, I was like, oh my gosh, reggae, it's pretty interesting. Over here, then this whole big thing over Jigga here. Oh, this is gonna be my one of my favorite parts. Just adding weapons. Okay, no problem though. I'll just finish up uh, building this in the meantime. It took much longer than I expected, but I guess just again, talking and building is more challenging. But the other ones that I built, I also found like myself spending much more time than I expected. Back of this. Boom. Cool. We're almost done actually. Not much left to do. Connect these parts to make this kind of bridge looking. Flip on the other side, add the little button. And now we've pla placed this thing on top of the whatchamacallit. There we go. It's epic. Now same part with like the other wing. I need to prepare a mechanism that will hold. Boom. Now the top. Vent. <laughs> it does look like vents. Now on these sides I need to place again the holders to keep my wings. Not wings, like I don't even know what you call these vent systems. Which means more sticker action. Yay! I love sticking stickers. And done. Now we place these in. These little ones in. Where did I put the other wing? This one as well in. Now, the 
Let's zoom out. Oh, I missed some Lollipo's message, so... Let's see. Lollipo says, I really love the Slavic languages and listen to a lot of music with that language. My favorite band right now is, I think, Dablo. He's a Russian, but I just like his music, not an anti-Ukrainian action from you. Yeah, I understand! <gasps> I found that missing piece! <laughs> It's very interesting with Lego, like, losing a piece and then just, like, building, building, and then... Oh, there it was! So, yeah, I did not uh, lose anything, and Lego did not put a... Not full set for me. Okay, so here's the big moment, the grand finale, because all I have to do is attach another wing to the... To the spaceship, and it will be over! So, let's do it. Let's finish this. Click. That's on, and the last wing parts. Click and click from the bottom. I get to show my head a little bit, and it's done. Here it is, the Anakin ship. Now I don't know why there's no space for R two D two to like park with him. But hey, so Anakin's ship, done, here it is, that's a big boy over here, look at my palm, it's pretty much perfectly fitting in it, whoa, now I get to fly this thing, let's maybe raise the camera a bit, no I can't, alright, so, get to show the, a little bit more. Whoa, so, we have this amazing cockpit with Anakin inside, opens and closes just like that. We have really interesting like vent system or like just maneuvering aerodynamic parts. We have the engine parts. Really, really cool wings that also can mechanically go up and down. So that is that. That's the Anakin ship. We can now load it with some weapons. I can see the hole where you can load the weapons. That just does not stick, huh? Interesting. Probably load it wrong. Oh, now it's in. That's in for sure. Alright, it's loaded, like underneath this part, right here, and there you can load one of these thingies, and they actually shoot if you press. Now I don't think I really want to shoot it, but yeah. Okay, so that's that! We're done with building Anakin's ship. Yeah, it's a very nice addition to the nerd closet. I'll make sure to, to take a picture of the nerd closet once I add this into that collection. The Nerd Closet actually consists of several different uh, universes. It has Mario Universe, Star Wars Universe, and even Harry Potter Universe. So Star Wars is kind of like my little obsession. I think Harry Potter, I don't know if it still is, but it definitely was MCQ's little obsession. And Mario is something that unites us. <laughs> we both love Nintendo. Um, yeah, games and just playing them. She's been playing a lot of uh, Link's Awakening recently. It's a pretty chill little game. N not that chill, maybe, but still. It's a lot of fun. Okay, lol, I guess that's that. I will listen to your song and let you know what I mean. What, <laughs> what I mean. What I think about it. And as for now, thank you guys join for joining the stream. I had so much fun having a chill time with you guys, building this beauty. And I guess I'll see you in the next one, so... Enjoy your free... I don't know, I said free weekend. It's always free. Enjoy your weekend. And bye-bye for now.